Hey. Listen. <laughs> so funny. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, see. Do you want some water? No water. Water. Good job.
these are cute. I know. <gasps> oh, I saw the flowers I love. We just have them right now. These. Yeah, I like these. We even used to have those, but I like these a lot. This is nice. So many flowers. Oh, are they some roses? Yeah, these are the easy care roses. I actually really like yellow roses. White ones are cute, but they just remind me of like death. Oh, really? White roses? Yeah. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, yeah, it's really cute. Oh, we even need to have this growing up. Yeah, the farm. Mm -hmm. The farm grows so big. Load it up in the car. Ready? I managed to fit everything in here, so it's good. Yeah. Hi guys. Um, wow, I feel like it's been a long time since I actually spoke to this camera. I've shot a few clips of me just like doing stuff, but um, the last time I filmed was this morning whenever we went to, was that Lowe's or Home Depot? That was Lowe's. Okay, whenever we went to Lowe's to get flowers and yeah. Um, we had some people come out and like plant the flowers. It's really late at night right now. It's like 10 p.m. But yeah, we had to plant the flowers. They look really good. Um, unfortunately, we need more than we thought we needed. So I think we're gonna go back to the store maybe tomorrow or Tuesday to get more flowers. But I wanted to come in here and say hi to you guys. So I think, you know, like the regular stuff, because it's the first time that I'm coming to speak in this vlog, if you're new here, my name is Allison. If you're not subscribed already, I would hope that you do so that you can catch more of my videos. Um, yeah, like and comment on my videos, I guess. It sounds lame to say that, but you know, it needs to be done. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I got this past week, whether it was like in store or in the mail, that I'm very excited about and First things first, I got two new fragrances and one of them I bought for myself and then the other one was very kindly gifted to me by my partner. So um, this one was the gift and this is not new on this channel, I think. This is the Delina exclusive. So I have had like just a regular Delina before. I actually love this one more. I don't know what happened like the first time that I smelled it, maybe like I don't know like my palette was a little bit different and i preferred that one but now that i have this i just love this one like 10 times more and i am so in love with it and i'm really really excited i have not put on anything for bed so i don't know maybe i might do a spritz of this but i just feel like it's too good you know for me to put it on and just go to sleep i don't know but i got the delina that i'm so happy about and honestly i feel like it's like a really good summer scent and yeah it's really good for summer because it's not too heavy you can wear whatever you want but i just think that you know some scents are better for the summer it feels so weird to come on here with my hair like this because i actually haven't worn it down in forever ever since i got it on the second scent that i got for myself was this one this is the byredo um balda freak and you know the bottle just looks like that i really love byredo's bottles you guys i think like the whole simplistic design really works people like me uh, i just like it it's not too overwhelming but i think i will do a spritz of this before bed just because i just got out the shower not that long ago and this smells like a fresh freshly showered person <sighs> i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it just smells really really good so i think i'll do a couple of sprays of that for bed and then I think I may have mentioned before in like a previous video if I haven't so I had started training for a half marathon even though like 
I have been slacking this past week. I would like to get back to that this week. The other reason for that, honestly, it's just like it's been really hot in Texas and it's kind of hard to like run in the evening when it's that hot. I cannot even picture myself doing it. So I think I found a solution for that. I'm gonna attempt to start doing my runs in the morning before it gets very hot and see how that works. But I got some new running shoes. That was also the other thing because I get like really bad shin splits. So hopefully these work and I'm just gonna show you guys what those shoes look like. These are the new running shoes. It's just the Brooks. And if you Google like the best running shoes for women, I feel like these and the Hawkas and the Salsani, I think is what it's called. Um, usually come up like top three for running shoes. I got the chance to try on the Brooks and I've tried on like a few running shoes and I feel like these were one of my favorite ones together with the Solomons. I don't really need Solomons though because I'm just running in like, you know, on a regular trail. But I really liked these. Honestly, the only thing is like I wish the colors were a little bit better. They kind of look, I don't know, too mature, but it's okay. Like they're just running shoes. My consolation for that was that they're not fashion shoes, but they just look like that and these are in this like purple and turquoise color um i really like them tomorrow is going to be the first time that i run with them so hopefully that goes good i'm actually pretty excited to have like proper running shoes i think i mentioned before but the running shoes that i had honestly are like nine years old so which is just ridiculous they're, they're not even like good running shoes anymore they just need to be retired so yeah it's already kind of late so not much i'm going to be doing tonight but tomorrow i want to show you guys the lamp that i got uh right now it's just in a box from crate and barrel so it's not that exciting but i want to put it i want to put it together tomorrow because the lamp that we previously got from home goods is a little bit too small like just for the scale of our living room so uh we found another lamp this past weekend that we liked and i'm going to put it together tomorrow and see what it looks like and then i'll show you guys because i'm ready to be done with this living room i just want to like start knocking out like the rooms one by one for the house and furnishing that so i'm pretty excited to see what it's gonna look like i got a sneak peek at the store obviously but i just want to see like what it looks like in our space so i'll show you guys that tomorrow and then i got like two of these flowers these very very long flowers from crate and barrel i really wanted these and the last time we went i was gonna get them but I think it was just by design. The last time we went there, um, I don't know, we didn't end up getting them. But when we went yesterday, when we got the lamp, they were actually like 50% off. So it ended up working out better. But my plan for those, because they're very tall, is actually to put them like in like the little nook for the staircase. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. Um, once I get like a little table and a vase to go over there, that's the plan for that and i think like something really tall and grand makes sense just because like that space also kind of has like a lot of height to it so that's pretty much it and then i have some other plans to clean tomorrow but like um knock on wood i'm not gonna speak you know too soon just in case i'm not able to do it and then like i talked about it on camera the only thing i'm committing to is <laughs> my little lamp for tomorrow and then uh as for the rest of the day we'll just kind of like take it by the hour but this is where I want to put like those flowers with the table. As of right now, it's just empty. Well, I mean, these like, you know, little summer stuff um, for the kids. But yeah, we're just going to do like a table and then a vase on top of the table. And then I want to put like those flowers in there. Uh, depending on what vase we, we get, I'm going to see if like I need to add more flowers. But as of right now, that's all that I have for there. But I'm gonna wait until I get the vase to see like if there's anything else I could add to there. Focus. That's pretty much it for tonight, you guys. I'm gonna go and watch Succession on the couch, and hopefully I don't fall asleep on the couch today because that's been my thing these days. It's just being so tired and I end up falling asleep on the couch. So hopefully that doesn't happen today, and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys, happy Sunday. I turned on the camera because I'm so excited. I want to show you guys something. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is peak adulting, like when you get so excited about home improvements. We've been having like a few things here and there that we've been working on. And I'm going to film like a dedicated video for my living room. But for right now, I want to show you something that came, was it yesterday? Actually, it came this morning. 
And it was supposed to be, like, well, not really. I was hoping it would come, like, before the weekend when we were hosting people. But it's okay. It's here right now, and I'm so excited. It's our wine fridge, and oh, it makes me so happy. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Are you kidding me? No way. Oh, my gosh. It looks so, so good. We just put it right on right now, and we haven't even, like put anything in there yet because I just wanted to show you guys because I was so excited and I really wanted one to have like wooden I don't know if you call this trays or panels because I just think it looked more sleek and we ended up getting one that was had like half beverage center so like on the side because we usually have like a few drinks in our fridge so that would like help with space and then we still get to do the wine on the other side oh it makes me so happy you guys don't know that <laughs> Okay, I think I'm actually gonna start putting some drinks in here, like right now. Okay. Hi guys. Um, <laughs> it's been so long since I actually vlogged. Like I started this vlog and then everything kind of just went downhill. I got a summer cold and while I was still recovering from that, the past few days I got the stomach bug from my daughter, and yeah, I was just down bad the whole time, honestly very humbling experience would not recommend and um if you guys can tell i am still coughing and my voice still sounds a little bit funny like i have a little bit of congestion but i definitely feel so much better and that's why like i'm up and about today getting things done because you can't keep it down forever baby so i got my hair done was that yesterday <coughs> no today is monday i got my hair done saturday and before that i was looking all kinds of crazy like if you saw me, you would have been like, girl, you need help? Because mm -mm, I just look terrible. But I got my hair done. I just got to sew in. I got a side part because I'm a side part girly. I had curls, of course. They dropped. Like, I told her they would, but she still insisted on doing curls. Um, they were cute for the day. Um, I didn't really go anywhere yesterday because I felt terrible. I was just on the couch all day, but I feel so much better again today. So we're going to get some things started and I decided to pick this camera back up so we can continue this vlog. I'm on my way to the nail shop because I want to get my nails fixed. So I don't know, just kind of like as a morale boost, I guess. And I was supposed to be having like a proper maintenance weekend. Like I had my eyelashes scheduled for yesterday and my hair was supposed to be Saturday and I was going to get my nails done Friday. But of course I wasn't feeling well so I had to like move things around. I'm still waiting for like a good day for my appointment for my eyelashes. We're trying to like, you know, reschedule that to a day that works for both of us. But as for right now, I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm actually kind of sad that my Apple Watch is dead because I want to do a better job at like tracking my steps. Especially now that I feel like I'm actually on like a proper fitness journey. I think it's going to help me. And I think it's more so just like making sure that I'm actually moving around enough during the day just because I feel like that's the thing I wasn't doing the most of. So it's currently 12.18. I'm hoping I could be done with my nails pretty quickly so that I could make it back home on time because I have to take the dog to um, a vet appointment at 2.30. So let's get a move on. Okay, before I go, I want to show you guys my outfit. It's nothing special, honestly. I'm just wearing this over shirt from... Let me turn on the light. Okay, so I'm just wearing like this oversized shirt from H&M. Um, this is just like a regular button-down shirt, but I got it in a large because I like my shirts to fit like this. And then I'm just wearing this little one piece from Amazon. And I just like that it smashes everything in. I don't have to wear a bra, which is like a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, it's not too short. I honestly just feel like I'm wearing like a tank top and biker shorts and I just like putting like a shirt on top. So I don't know. It just feels better. And of course my everyday bag, like I promise I carry this bag so, so often. Um, this is from Mango and it has withstood the test of time. I've had it for a while now and I wear the crap out of it. And then just my little... Um, bracelet and my wedding band. That's it. Oh, and this little necklace that says mama because, you know, yeah. And for breakfast and lunch, water. Because it's the only thing I could properly stomach right now. That and sweet potatoes. So, for right now, water. See you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so let's catch up a little bit. It's 10.40pm when I'm filming this. 
Uh, the last time I spoke with you guys, I was going to get my nails done. This is them. Um, I knew that I wanted black nails going to a nail shop. However, I was very really unsure about the shape. And I'm not sure that I love them. But they've definitely grown on me. Because when I first got them done, I was like, oh, this is a terrible idea. Because I just feel like... I'm not really like an almond girly. And I feel like usually when I do almond, it's like they have to be perfect. And so I'm like, is almond and black like a good combination? I don't know. I mean, they're okay. They're not like my favorite. But... If I hate them so much, I may end up trying to like fix the shape myself to make them like square because I'm a short square girly through and through. But you know, this is what we have right now, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna waste money on this. So it's 10:40 p.m. I have not had dinner yet, but I'm really, really hungry because my appetite was very off. I wasn't sure what I was gonna eat, but I think I finally figured out something I'm gonna eat right now, and. Yeah, we'll just go from there. So, I'm about to do some laundry just because I realized, like, the, the baby's laundry is, like, piling up. And there's some clothes I wanted to, like, uh, treat for stains that I was, like, you know, I'm just going to do that at another time. Because, I mean, like, usually her laundry is easy. Like, I just throw everything in there. But I feel like now that the baby's gotten older and it's, like, she's getting more dirty. So, it's, like, okay, I actually have, like, clothes that have stains. So, I think I'm going to pre-treat those. And then I'll run that load tomorrow morning. But tonight, I'll just, like, run all the other clothes. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. And that's my last that's my last task for the night. I'm just going to eat dinner and watch TV. I started a new K-drama, like, a few days ago over the weekend. Um, we started watching Crash Course in Romance. And I'm actually surprised that it took me that long to watch it because I really, really like it. I love K-dramas, you guys. And, yeah, this one's really good. We're only on, like, episode 7, but we love it so far. So, because it's already kind of late in the night, so I'm just going to do the laundry quickly. And then we'll only be able to, like, watch one more episode because it is a weeknight. So, that's the plan for the evening. Okay, so these are the all-stars for tonight. I'm going to be using this OxyClean. I already have some of, like, the... Um, oxyclean that says free because it's supposed to be more gentle especially for like babies and I think it has less chemicals um, I used to use that a lot when she was like younger but I'm gonna use this one today just because I want to test the theory and see if this one's a bit stronger and just because she's a little bit older now I feel like maybe her skin can like handle this one um, even though I would super prefer to like use um, free and clear products for her so, I mean, like, her laundry detergent that I use is to, like, the free and clear. I'll show you guys in a second. And then I'm also going to be using this OxyClean Stain Remover Spray because I feel like these work better when you use in combination together. So, that's what we're going to attempt today. And, like, some of her clothes are really, really stained, you guys. Like, if you see them, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. Those are pretty stained. And then for her laundry, I just use the free and clear. This is the Target brand. Works just as well. We've always been using it since she was a baby. So, I'm just going to, like, quickly go through these clothes and the clothes i'm going through are like right here by the way so this is like our little laundry basket a regular load i'm just gonna throw on the floor right here and then whenever stain i'm gonna obviously like spray it and put it in the sink overnight I mean, it kind of has like a stain like right there okay i'll just i'll just go ahead and do it okay and then i think i'll do like some water in the sink and then put the powder in the sink just so like the water in here has like oxygen in it and then i'll just spray the stain remover directly onto the clothes so i put a like a whole scoop of this in the sink and i've decided just for some like razzle dazzle so we actually have a fighting chance against the stains i'm going to add a little bit of the our laundry detergent that we use like for some personal in here because I'm tired of these clothes being stained so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in like the water in the sink that already has the oxyclean honestly not a lot because I feel like personal like a little bit goes a long way I mean for most laundry detergent anyways you're not supposed to use a whole bunch so this is just for the purpose of soaking our clothes Trust, 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 
this one is pretty bad especially because it's like a bright color as well wow. i am curious to see how this is going to turn out whenever i'm like done with his clothes but this one's stained pretty bad So I'm done with the special treatment load is what I'm calling it and all that is in the sink and I'll see it tomorrow morning But for right now, I'm just gonna run like her regular load and eat some food um, Watch my TV show like I said and call it a night. So yeah Hi guys, the last time we spoke was yesterday. It's currently like 7.50 p.m. I am just now about to make dinner. I actually wanted to be done with dinner like much earlier than this, but I was filming two videos upstairs just like five minutes ago and I just came down. I'm really hungry. We're gonna do like taco bowls today. Just because I've been craving tacos for the past few days and I did say I wanted to do a taco bowl yesterday. Didn't get around to it. Honestly, did not have the energy and we're gonna do that today instead i have not made my rice yet but we do have some rotisserie chicken that we're gonna use it was very plainly seasoned which is like a good thing so i'm just gonna kind of like juice it up a little bit with some adobo and while we're heating it so it's like you know it kind of has like a little bit of like that taco flavor i guess i was gonna make like a chipotle pepper sauce for it but honestly i don't have time for that just because i do want to make like an avocado ranch because i love chick-fil-a's avocado ranch dressing i usually pick that one whenever i'm getting my salads so i'm gonna make like my own version of it i do like making like avocado dressings this is not like the first one i've made honestly i will make any kind of dressing with avocados unless it's delicious like i just think avocado is like really good in dressing it's really good on like a lot of things i just love avocado so yeah, we're gonna do that. If you can tell, I'm like a little bit delirious. It's because I'm hungry and a little bit tired. And then also, I wanna get this done quickly because I want us to eat dinner and go take a walk outside. So the only way we're gonna be able to do that is if we move quick. So let's get to it. And I'm wearing this because I was using it to like film, but the top kind of like keeps riding up. So I think I'm gonna change into something more comfortable. I'm just going to go wear maybe like a t-shirt and my biker shorts because we are going to go on a walk after this. I'll see you guys in a second, okay? The bedroom. Alright, so I changed. I'm just wearing like this t-shirt from Aritzia. This is a very soft t-shirt. I don't remember what it's called. And then I'm just wearing like my black biker shorts. These are like my, my regular workout shorts that I used to go and run. And every time I said I'm running, look at my belly. I don't know if you can see, but you see, it's not like a lot left. Like, well, go run. Run away from your problems. It'll fix your gut. Just kidding. <laughs> Running's good for you, though. Well, I mean, it's bad for your knees, but it's good for you. So, dinner first. Even though my husband is saying I'm being delusional about, like, our run and our walk, I still have faith that we're going to be able to make it. But let's make dinner. I am using this. This is like the baby's food processor. Sorry if you could hear like baby music in the background. Um, she's eating, so. Anyways, I'm using this baby food processor just because I don't like using a blender when I'm making like salsa or like savory sauces. Um, I always feel like, or I don't know if it's in my head, but I always feel like my smoothies taste funny, so, and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna use this, and funny story, I don't know where the lid for this is because I made sauce last time and I don't know where the lid was placed. The only lid I have is like this one for like steaming. So I'm actually hoping that it holds. I'm gonna try and like put it that way. So I'm gonna add sour cream, um, ranch. This is not the healthiest sauce by the way just because it has avocados. But 
Um, you can use like low fat versions of any of these if you want them to be like healthier. Some jalapenos. Uh, I usually prefer like fresh jalapenos whenever I'm making like my avocado cilantro one. But for this one, I actually don't mind this just because these jarred ones tend to be like a little bit more like tangy. And then um, avocados. And I have like this one right here, which I'm not sure if it's good, but I have like this backup right here. And then to make this lighter, some people use heavy cream. I'm not going to do that just because I don't want it to be too fatty. So I'm going to use milk if I need it. This is just bad. I just can already tell. I feel like it's too soft. Ooh. Yeah, it even feels like hollow. Don't like that. This is terribly bad. See that? Yeah. These ones should be good because they're like fresher. I got them not that long ago. I think these are actually from T Trader Joe's. I'm going to use this big one because I want to use just like one big one. Ugh. Okay, here you go. It's perfect. And it doesn't matter if it's a little hard, it's getting blended anyways. I'm gonna need a spoon for this. Oh my god. Yeah. My husband found the lid. Ranch. Not a lot of it, but like, actually kind of a bit. Cause I want that like a ranch flavor. Do my jalapenos. I'm not gonna put too many. Like just because I like spicy food, I'm not gonna subject everybody to like my spicy food. So just a couple of slices and then some of the juice. So yeah. Wait. Have I forgotten how to close this? Okay. There we go. This is what it looks like. It's just like very creamy. <clears throat> and like, that's like the consistency that I like. I don't like it too watery. I mean, we make better burgers. This is the plate. Oh, that. I don't mind my cut on top, you guys. And then I'm just drinking like some cranberry juice. So, yeah, let's do it. Yay. Um, see you guys later.